Hi, today we're going to take a look at AdOptics, the automated ad A-B testing service to see how it could improve your website sales and conversions. So let's log into one of our accounts. And this is our Google Ad Manager account, which imported all of the accounts under our management. We have these four accounts here, which we could activate and deactivate at any time by clicking the Activate and Deactivate button. And in the Account Manager, we could always add additional accounts using the Add Account button. But we see our accounts that we have managed, and we have a list of to-do tasks for each account. So let's hop in and see what to-do tasks have been generated for us by the system. In this particular account, we have three task types, the end ad test, the create ad test, and the start ad test. Let's take a look at the start ad test task and see what it does. This task is automatically generated by the service when it detects in your Google Ads account an ad group that already has two ads that are running and that should be tested. These two ads are in this ad group and the system uh, wants to start tracking the performance so we could see which ad is performing better. When you run this type of ad test task, there's no changes made to your Google Ads account. The system simply starts getting the reporting data from Google and tracks the performance of each ad. So let's start this ad task and from now on, it'll start monitoring the performance of the two ads. After the test has been running for a while, you'll have generated for you an end ad test task where you could review the performance of the two ads and compare them. This ad test has been running for 31 days and we see we could get a conversion improvement from the two ads of 45%. This means that ad B is outperforming ad A by 45% in terms of conversions. We see also an improvement in click-through rate of 6% and we're 91% sure that this difference is statistically significant. We could scroll down and see the two ads we have tested, and we see the supporting data in this table here. We see that the conversions for ad B were 29 versus conversions for ad A of 20, and we see that the impressions were relatively similar at 1300. We also see that the cost per acquisition of the ad B, the winning ad, is 291 versus 412. So by running with ad B over ad A, we're getting a huge performance improvement. And if you look at the ads themselves, what we tested was the headline three ad element, which is start selling in five minutes versus easy setup and instant payouts. All other ad elements are the same. So it is really astounding to see that a, such a small uh, change to your ad elements could really drive a huge conversion improvement, in this case, 45%. So if we pause a losing ad, this system will make a Google API call to stop uh, ad A from running and ad B will continue to run. And now ad B will be getting those impressions and your conversions will improve even more. So let's pause the losing ad. And then finally, we see a create ad test test. And this is the real power of the system. <clears throat> this is where you craft a new ad to run a test with. So this ad group in our, our account only has one ad running. So we'll click and write a new ad. And this brings us to our ad writer. And we see that the field, the ad has already been pre-populated with the existing ad that we're running in the ad account. And we could use this as a starting point. Uh, we could change one or more ad elements. Typically, you only change one during an ad test. But you could also choose the drop down and see other ads that you've run in your account and in this ad group and choose that those ads as a starting point. We see that this one actually has a conversion per thousand impressions of 19 and we got thir uh, 13 conversions with it. So I think we should start with this one. It actually has a higher click-through rate too. And that will pre-fill our form with all of those uh, with the ad elements from that ad. We're going to focus on headline three today because we see in the previous ad that we got a lot of performance improvement from just changing the headline number three. If we click on that ad element, we also see a new dropdown of this specific ad element for uh, that field, and we see the performance. And we see it not only for this ad group, but we also see it across our account. So we could apply the best practices learned in our account to individual ad groups when we're writing our ad. Uh, easy setup and instant payouts is a strong performing uh, ad with a conversion of 19 per thousand impressions, but easy setup instant payments, a small difference in the uh, wording of the payouts versus payments actually has a higher. And uh, we see some uh, social proof of over 400,000 sellers using the service. Um, so let's just 
change the one from the one phrase from instant payments to instant payouts to instant payments and run that as a test. And we do when we add this ad, we'll see the two ads side by side, and we could click start ad test and have this new ad pushed over to Google, and the performance data will then start will then be tracked, and we'll get uh, an end ad task task generated for us later. And now we see that we have no pending tests um, running in the system. We could see the ad, the uh, current running tasks and the current status uh, of their performance. And if we go back to the ad manager or the account manager, we could work through the remaining uh, accounts uh, to do tasks. And that's how you optimize your uh, Google Ads performance using Ad Optics.